Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm Margie, and I'm back to do a Mother's Day makeup look for you guys. As you see, that my eyebrows are already done, that I already put the concealer, and I already uh, put the uh, pressed powder, the translucent powder. So I'm going to do a Mother's Day makeup look for you today because this is Mother's Day weekend. We're honoring our moms and I'm a mom as well, you know, and also that uh, I just decided to do a makeup look for you guys and to showcase like respect and honor of Mother's Day. So uh, let's get started. So um, I basically am gonna do I'm gonna do a, a natural makeup look with maybe a pop of color on the lip. So uh, stay tuned. So let's just go right in, get right into the video. Um, I'm gonna use, as far as uh, a liner, I may use this, let me see, I don't know yet. See, I came unprepared because I wasn't sure. So let's go with, uh, we're gonna do a makeup look with this uh, Too Faced Bon Bon's palette that I got years ago from Sephora. Hopefully they still sell it. So I'm gonna do a look with this palette and I'm gonna see what I come up with because I haven't really uh, came up with a look in mind, but I plan on doing a decent look in honor of Mother's Day. But I've been seeing a lot of pinks, a lot of rose paints, you know. Um, so I'm looking at the palette and I'm trying to see which color I would like to lean towards more so. Um, we'll come up with something because I'm looking at the palette and I'm trying to see maybe I would want to do something with this pink here or maybe just a neutral makeup look. I'm not sure yet. I still didn't come up with a look. It's just, you know, I just decided to do something for Mother's Day. So let's get into this makeup look. I'm still trying to find out which ones I want to do. So what, I'm, what I just came up with uh, was to use this Morphe brush to do, a, um, let me see which color do I really want to use first. Um, let's do more of a neutral look. Let's, I'm going to use this color. I'm going to use the shade Mocha. I'm going to use Mocha. So I'm going to tap into Mocha. And I'm going to use my travel size makeup palette from Too Faced. So hopefully you can see the colors of what I'm doing here. Taking this eyeshadow and I'm patting it on my eyelid with this Morphe. Um, you've seen a video with this uh, brush in it before. So this is the Morphe M167 brush. I've done a video with this makeup brush before. So I don't need to show you the brush in this video. So let's add a little color to that. We're gonna add, um, I'm gonna add dark truffle. If 
everything. Let me see if I can show you. We're gonna add dark truffle. Because the other color is not showing up somehow. I don't know why, but it's not showing up. So I'm gonna add dark truffle, like I said. Hopefully this can show up. Showing up a little bit. All right, let's use another brush because that one is not really working really well with me right now. So I'm going to use MAC 239. Let me show you how the brush looks. This is how it looks and the number of the brush. MAC 239. This is the flat shader brush. So I'm going to use that shade, that um, brush, I mean because I really want this to show up. I didn't believe the other brush was working, so I just decided to use this one. do is I'm going to use this Sigma E25 brush to blend out the edges. Let's make sure that it's dry first. No, it's not dry. I got another one in there. It's always good to have a backup. Okay, I have also a MAC 217 brush. So I'm gonna use that instead. So we're gonna blend this out. Going in circular motions. also do is add another color if I want. I want to add another color to maybe the darker to darken it up a little bit. I'm going to use this makeup designer brush and the number 810 if you can see the number makeup designer brush in 810. So I'm going to use a darker shade like maybe a black, I'm not sure. But let's tap a little. I'm gonna use my oldie but goodie semi-sweet chocolate palette from Too Faced. As you can see, some of the cuts, some of the palettes have broken and some of them hit pan. So I'm gonna use this one called Licorice. I'm gonna use Licorice on the outer corner just to drop 
just a little dab of it. I have at least three of my uh, Too Faced palettes out. So I'm gonna add that to the outer corner. It's more like a smoky makeup look. it off a little bit so that I don't have too much then I can blend it out bit goes a long way so you're not gonna add too much So I'm basically taking the color from the outer corner of my eye and I'm bringing it inward to make it more blended. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do eyeliner and I'm gonna use my Sephora Black Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black Matte. So I'm gonna use that. And then I'm gonna use my, uh, I'm gonna use this with, let me see, do I have a post brush? We're gonna use it with this. This um, Sigma Short Shader Brush E20. Let me see, did I say that right? Yeah, Sigma Short Shader Brush E20. So we're gonna use that. I'm gonna do this one quick because this eyeliner is waterproof. So I'm gonna go along my last line.
for a minute. I thought it dried out. I don't like when eyeliner dries out. I can't really tell it's there. So what I'm gonna do, I have other options. I'm going to use one of my disposables. Eyeliner with my Oli But Goody Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I'm going to take some on a disposable eyeliner brush. That one so now what we're gonna do is I've done a video with this mascara so I'm gonna use this on my eyelashes I'm gonna put this mascara on my eyelashes from root to end to use mascara to bring them out. Mm. 
Yeah, I have to get in the inner corner as well. This is good. Nothing too much. So we're gonna let those dry and we're gonna go with the lashes with all that. I'm gonna use these Ardell Jimmy Wispy lashes, but I'm gonna cut them first. Cut them off this palette. Okay. Finish those. All right. So now we're gonna uh, do our lashes. Ooh, drop it. Let's take out these things. I have the scissors and the lash applicator. So what I'm gonna do is take this, take the lashes off. I already know what size I wear, so what I'm gonna do is cut the lash. Then I'm going to add the glue. I did a video with this glue, but I'm going to use this glue to do my lashes with. The lash glue got a little tacky. This is the hard part whenever I do my makeup or anybody else's makeup, putting these lashes on. I hate when it stick up in, in the um, inner corner. Uh, yeah, the inner corner. That's the most annoying. I don't know if anybody else faced that problem, but I do. When you're trying to put the lash on and it's like it sticks up when it wants to stick up. I hate that. grateful for this tool because it helps make the lash application easier
good. <sighs> Jeez, I can breathe now. Okay. Let's take the nose out. work this is why I always do the eyes first because it takes more time
this. Well, this just keep happening. Okay, I believe this is good enough. So, um, sorry that took up most of the time, but that's a part of doing makeup. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, okay, since I didn't use this brush, I'm gonna that. All right, uh, so the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start on the makeup that I put, okay. Disposable sponges. Um, let me see. Setting spray. There it is. I did a video with this on the last video, the previous video. I used this. So I'm going to use this on this disposable sponge to wet it. And I'm gonna use both of my primers. One is matte and, matte and refined, and the other one is smooth and blur because I have combination skin. So I'm gonna use both of it, both of these. two different primers that I just used for my face. I didn't use it yet, but what I'm gonna do is take this one, this is the matte and refine, that's this one. And the smooth and blur is this one. So, because I have combination skin, so I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put it on my T-zones Put enough. I'm gonna put that on my T zones where I'm mainly oily because I collect a lot of oil there. So and yeah, down my nose and some parts here. And I'm gonna take the sponge and I'm gonna just pat that in. Cause these are the areas where I'm most likely oily. So instead of rubbing it in, I'm gonna pat it in. So it's not so oily whenever I put my next um let me show you all of this up here because I'm oily up there too. So now I'm gonna use the other part of the um Throw this one away, and I'm gonna use this one yet again. I'm gonna spray this one as well.
So now I'm gonna cut, like tuck this in. So these are the dry parts of my face. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna use Best Skin Ever. I didn't do a review on this, I just started using it. So this is in the shade 53.5 and that's the neutral tone shade that they match me with, as I said before. So I'm gonna use like two pumps. Two pumps goes a long way. So I'm going to just take this and I'm going to just tie it all over my face. the same sponge and I'm gonna dab this into my skin And plus, I've heard a lot of reviews about this foundation on YouTube. So, and plus, I needed a new foundation anyway. So, I went to Sephora and picked this up while I was there. And the girl did a shade match, skin match. And she matched me to this one, so I'm gonna make sure I don't mess up the brows. So that it's evenly spread, that no spot is missing.
Okay, so now I'm gonna take this um, Sephora setting spray. I did a video with this in it as well. So I'm gonna take the Sephora setting spray. The Sephora setting spray, this Sephora, oh gosh. Sephora and translucent powder. That's what I meant to say. I don't know why I said setting spray. This stuff has like a funny smell to it, but I'm gonna use it anyway. You know, but I'm gonna use the oldie but goodie double ended brush from Sephora. This is the powder shadow brush. This part is the shadow. I mean, this part is the powder, this part is the shadow, which I really don't use this brush that much, but we're gonna take a little bit. We're gonna add a little to the uh, top. I don't need too much because this stuff is a lot. So I'm gonna just take the brush, dab it in there a little bit, tap off the excess. So I don't wanna to put too much. Now I'm gonna take it and just dab all over my face. Especially here in the T-zones. That's where I get the most oily. And boy, do I hate it, especially in the summertime. I could put on makeup and still be oily. Like, why? Skin is oily. Then I have the Kiss Contour Palette and uh, Deep. So I'm gonna use that to bring some color back into my face. bit of uh, this highlight to bring a little highlight to my high cheekbone. Just a little bit. We don't need too much.
And then with this look, what I'm gonna do now is set it with the spray. And this time I'm prepared to have my little fan that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this fan to set it. So now, as far as lips is concerned, I'm gonna use, um, let me see, which lip color do I wanna add with this one? I'm gonna add a decent lip color. Let's do like a pop of color. like a purple I must have taken it out because I don't see it here okay you know what instead of I went crazy looking for it I'm going to use the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade 94. So I'm gonna use a disposable because I don't wanna double dip. So what I'm gonna do is with the disposable, I'm gonna take, in, take some from the um, applicator Take some from the applicator. I'm going to apply this lip color.
So this is the final look for Mother's Day. I hope you guys like this look. It's a little highlight there. You know, I didn't do too much contour, but I just wanted to bring some color back into my face so that you can see how this looks. And um, this is the final look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and watching me do this makeup look in honor of Mother's Day. Um, I hope that you guys have a blessed Mother's Day and for all the moms out there, including myself, I wish you girls have a, a great Mother's Day. Enjoy it with your family. Enjoy it with your friends. Have dinner, you know, relax. If you, if you, you go to church, praise God, you know, um, give God the glory, number one. So uh, enjoy your Mother's Day weekend. Relax. If the kids are driving you crazy, <laughs> it's, it's a thing. It's, 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 that's, motherhood. that's motherhood. But your first time moms, just look us for you as well. So uh, thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos. And I pray that you uh, enjoyed this video. Like I said, I pray that all goes well with you and your family. And thank you. God bless.